Hi, I'm Steve Maher. I'm the ergonomics guy, and I want to give you a few tips for getting a good gaming chair. When you're gaming, you want to have a chair that supports your body in different positions so that you can move around and the chair stays with you. A lot of the chairs that I've seen, they're pretty much fixed. It's like a car seat on wheels. And a car seat is designed to hold you into the car, so it's bolstered. So there's a lot of support on the thighs and on the back, and it actually tips you back just a little bit to hold you in the seat. So when you turn the car, you don't slide into the passenger seat, right? Um, when you're playing a computer game, you can turn the wheel and your chair goes nowhere. So you don't need a car seat for playing a game where you don't need to be locked into the seat. But what you do need is you need some adjustability to change angles and keep your body in a good neutral supported position when you're playing. And that's going to make you more comfortable and ultimately a better player. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that the chair is tall enough for you to use the keyboard and mouse where you're not reaching up. So a lot of the pictures that I've seen of guys gaming is they're reaching up. They're basically no neck people. They're up like this because the desk is way too too high and when that happens you you contract all the muscles of your shoulders uh, you el you abduct your shoulders you kind of look like you know John Stewart doing George Bush you're up like this the problem is you tend to then lean on the muscles and nerves of your forearm and that can cause problems in your hands it also increases stress on your elbows so you want to make sure that the chair comes high enough to get your hips a little bit above your knees but brings your elbows up to the level of the keyboard so with this chair, uh, there's a lever here on the right side. It will come down so I can sit low and it will come pretty high so I can sit high enough to use my fixed height desk right here. So um, make sure that the chair comes up high enough. You want to make sure that the seat pan is deep enough that it covers most of your thigh. So if it's too shallow, you're perched on the edge and that increases pressure on your butt and can cut off circulation to your legs. If it's too deep, then your legs hit the front edge um, and then your feet don't touch the floor. You're like Edith Ann, right? And so you want to make sure that the seat pan is pretty much the same length as your thigh, give or take about two fingers. So there's a little bit of a gap here so you can back, sit back into the chair and the chair doesn't throw you out. Okay, with this chair, there's actually a seat slider. So a lot of times if you look underneath on this one, this is an Office Master PT78, which is a chair I use a lot in my consulting. Um, but if you lift up this front paddle, the entire seat pan will move forward and back. So if you're shorter or taller, you can adjust that so that it fits your thigh. The next thing is the backrest. You wanna make sure that the backrest supports your back at a belt, belt level, okay? With these chairs, the backrest is actually on a ratchet. So if I pull, it comes up and then it comes back down. So I can set that into my low back. So a lot of the chairs that I've seen, the backrest is fixed and typically the support is too low and tends to push people out. Um, so you're gonna bring this up so it supports your low back. It has its own lever, it comes forward and back as well. So you can position that to support your low back and then it has a built-in lumbar support. That's what this knob is here. Uh, if you turn that, there's a little pillow and it increases or decreases pressure in your low back. Um, a lot of the gaming chairs that I've, that I've worked with, they have like a pillow on two little straps that comes up and down the entire length of the backrest. And the idea is it's gonna support your low back. The problem is they never stay where you want. They slide down the little belt, and next thing you know, they're pushing your butt out of the chair. Um, and if you bring them up too high, then they do funny things to your mid back. So they just don't uh, give you the support that you really need. It's better to have it built into the chair where you can kind of fine tune it. Uh, so those are the things you wanna look for in a chair. You want to have the ability to raise it up high enough so you can use your desk. You want to be able to move the seat pan forward and back so it covers your whole thigh. You want to be able to bring the backrest up and down to support your low back. And the other thing that I like about this chair is it has a tilt control. So this front lever here allows me to sit way back in the chair and I can fall back and put my feet up on the desk. Um, or I can sit really far forward. So if I'm really intense on something, I can bring it forward in sort of a ready position. Um, or I can lock it anywhere in between. So depending on how I'm feeling, I can move that up and down to give me a more supported position, depending on how I want to be. So this is called a uh, Office Master PT78. Um, if you'd like more information on how to get one, send me an email at theergonomicsguy.com. 
Uh, you can also email me at the uh, site solutions at hotmail.com or uh, write me a comment on YouTube. Any of those ways, and I can give you more information on this chair. There are other chairs out there. I found one on Amazon for like 130 bucks. Um, the thing is, when I sat in it, it, it was really hard. The padding kind of sucked. And the thing is, if you're going to spend a fair amount of time at your computer playing your games, you should invest a little bit of money in something that's really going to support you and take care of your body. Because if your body breaks, you can't play. So uh, that's what I got for you today. Thank you very much. Please leave me a comment and let me know if there's anything else you'd like to know. Um, thanks again.